All right, 6501. 6501. Three twenty wake up call. It's three twenty, everybody. Early flight to Detroit. Does it worry me? Not anymore. We've been doing this all training block. Come on now. Was I worried last night going to bed about a 3.20 a.m. wake up call? Was I worried? Zilch, nada, nothing, not worried at all. Just looking for a parking spot by the way. Ooh, I thought that was one. You know why? Because the last five, six weeks I've been waking up at three, it started at 4.15 and then it was 4 and then it was 3.45 and eventually I figured out, wow, in order to get everything done that I need to get done, run the mountains, get the vertical, film the vlog, edit the vlog, upload the vlog, get to the dinner table by 5 p.m. I need to wake up at 3.40, no sorry, sorry, 3.20 a.m. And that's what I've been doing. So it's the mental side, the lessons we learn as runners from each and every training block. I never thought in a million years that I'd be um, readily available at 3.20 and able to wake up and push myself um, to work just a little bit harder than the Pikes Peak Marathon training block. And so, again, now it's almost 5 a.m. I'm at the airport. Um, I'm ready to rock and roll in Detroit. And, but it's like, ooh, there's a parking spot. Hello. Um, all right, let me finish this thought. Once I park here, get inside. We made it everybody, we made it. Okay, before I lose my thought, yes, I'm in the bathroom of the airplane. I, was, I didn't have enough time to talk at the airport in Denver. Here we go, and by the way, shout out to the uh, East Harlem United Runners. Can't wait to meet you all again in New York City. Okay, so, Worried? No, I'm not worried. Now, remember what I'm always saying. Peak race is way different than a tune-up race. Detroit is a tune-up race. If you're a little hesitant, anxious, worried about your tune-up race, stay calm, trust the training, and be patient. Ooh, so key. Tip of the day, be patient with your taper. My taper starts 
in like 48 hours, basically right after the Detroit Half Marathon, okay? I, oh my goodness, remember, oh man, maybe I should save this. I'll tell this story once I land in Detroit about tuning up for the Pikes Peak Marathon, and I actually made a vlog all about being worried about the Pikes Peak Marathon. And guess what? Things turned out pretty darn good for Pikes Peak, okay? So, trust the taper, trust your training. All right, better, better get out. Thank you. That's right. That's right. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Delta. Okay, we're in Detroit, everybody. Oh, she's she's going. <laughs> Glad I'm not racing her. So what I was what I was referencing and talking about in the bathroom is that after my last tune-up race in Wyoming, I said this that I enjoyed the mountain running so, so much in June and July, I I'm struggling a little bit saying goodbye to that and sharing it with all of you here on YouTube. I got, I'll just admit it, the new drone is very exciting for me. As a cinematographer, a daily creator here on YouTube, that gets the juices going for me. And so to say goodbye to this training block with about, when you're watching this, you know, 10 days to go, I'm struggling with embracing the taper, but I know everybody, I know, if I embrace the, tape, embrace the taper, fit, healthy, and fresh. We're working on that middle one, fresh. You gotta taper. When you put in the work, when you work hard, when you put yourself out there, take some calculated risks, which, which I definitely did in this training block, you have to taper. You gotta, if you wanna do your best on race day, the legs need to be happy. Right now, they're probably at a six and a half out of 10. So yes, even after running for over two decades, I still was just a little apprehensive about how the legs felt after Wyoming, after the tune-up race. So I just know, trust the taper. Trust, the, it's so hard sometimes, but that's where I'm at right now mentally, getting ready for the Detroit Half Marathon. Okay, let's go to the expo, get that bib number, come on. I gotta get it. You know me and palm hats. I gotta get it. Awesome. Pins are in there. I'm gonna uh, get a picture here. There it is. Woo! Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Six five zero one. Six five zero one. Okay, let's go buy this hat. Let's do it. What's up, What's David? Going on? Detroit half tomorrow. Come. Energy's great here in Detroit. Let's do this. Let's do this. DGR strong. <laughs> yes, sir. Thanks it's about for to be a great race. <laughs> thanks for watching the channel. Yeah, man, you're the best. I watch and you give all the best tips. So uh, keep going. We're trying. You're we're inspiring all of us. So. We're trying. We're trying. Yeah. Well, Welcome good. to Detroit, by the way. Thank you. You from here? Yeah, born awesome. and raised. Oh. So I love it here. It's my first it's time. It's a great race. You'll love it. I'm excited. Let's get you in the vlog. Sounds good. What's up? How's it Li going? Liam, right? Yes. Yep. Are you running tomorrow? I am. Full. Oh, full. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Throwing down. I know. I'm excited. Is this your first? Second? Second. Yep. Second. I was going to do it last year, but it got, like, it went virtual, so I just did it with my brother. Did okay. a little special thing. Got it. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks for watching, man. Appreciate it. Thank do you, you go to Grand Valley? I do, yes. Okay, yeah. awesome. Uh... sun is setting on another day here on this earth. Woohoo! Made it to Detroit. Oh, got the bib number. All right, I just checked my phone and wow, 
You want to hear a comment of the day. This is inspiring. I'll just read it now because we're standing here. Let's do it. Rick Van Dersen. And I'll get you a few thoughts on the race, my race as well, here in a minute. But first of all, Rick, this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rick says, running the Amsterdam Marathon tomorrow. It's going to be my first official one, and you kind of were the one that got me hooked into running it and running in general, because if you search YouTube for the Amsterdam Marathon, all your videos pop up, and I didn't, and I didn't stop uh, watching since. I'm really excited and a bit nervous as well, but I got to believe in the training and the work I put in. A goal equals 3.30, B goal equals 3.40, and C goal is sub four hours, and finish with a smile. Thanks for all the creative content and keep up the good work. Rick, that's amazing. And it's not like I'm always, it's, it's a two way street. Why I ask the question of the day or the, or, or read the comment of the day is that I want it to be a conversation here on this channel. You inspire me and hopefully I'm giving a little bit back to all of you. Okay. So Rick, that's amazing. Rick, you are now inspiring others. All right. And I guess like, who knows, maybe there's a, you know, somebody in the greater Detroit area right now who's dreaming of transforming their life and they start searching YouTube Detroit half marathon or Detroit marathon in the next six months and they discover this vlog and tomorrow's vlog and the next vlog and the next, oh man, man, it's a beautiful thing. So Rick, thank you for that comment of the day. Okay. A few quick, very quick thoughts on Detroit, because I know we're going long and it's getting late. All right, there's the bib number. All right, I don't know. I'm sure you can track the run. I don't know how they're going to track it, but somehow you'll be able to. I'm sure on the website they will have splits somewhere. There's the long sleeve. Love it. Love the dark blue, and it's a nice long sleeve. There's the front. There's the back, and this is a tune-up race. And I have to. I must say, I shared this with the race crew yesterday in the live stream. I said it's a little mentally challenging to hop on an airplane, leave the family, fly across the country for a tune-up race where you know your legs are not going to be 100% fresh. You know what I mean? I did a 24-mile long run two days ago, okay? So I felt pretty good in the shakeout in downtown Detroit this afternoon. Um, I picked it up the last like, mile and a half, two miles, just to get a little bit of turnover going. And, but I, you know, anyway, so, but the goal for me tomorrow is to be relaxed, to not, not dig, but to, I don't want to say float, but I want to stay as relaxed as possible, especially with tired legs in anticipation of the last four to six miles in New York, okay? Crossing over from, I'll just say from the Bronx into Manhattan, all right? That, that, those closing four to six miles is really my focus for tomorrow's race in Detroit. So when my legs, because they're already gonna be kinda tired, because I am gonna hit 105 miles for the week of training this week, but I am coming off of, as you all know, 140 miles. So the legs are feeling much better, I'd say, compared to seven days ago but we're definitely not out of the woods yet with respect to waiting for that taper. So relaxed. Uh, I am intrigued though to see the difference in my leg strength from I'm just gonna say Naples, Toledo to now. Cause I will say like I've been putting the work in, in the mountains and then also in the gym. Who knows? Maybe it'll, maybe it'll pay off, okay? So there you go. Oh, I think I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna call it there. Question of the day, how was your run today? And what shoe did you run in and why that shoe? Whether you did a training run or a race, okay? There you go. Thanks for tuning in. I could go on and on, but we gotta, we gotta go to bed. All right, Detroit Half Marathon today. Tune up, good luck to everybody out there. If you're racing through Motor City, Motor City time. All right, everyone, we will toss it to, um, you know, we'll toss it to that that vlog where I talked about, you know, just some doubt or struggles that I'm going through right now. All right. Right there, right there, right there. All right. See beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.